color house is really cool, but some of my first attempts sounded like... Yikes. How on earth do I recover from that? Despite being a color base expert, I seemed to have trouble with this. So it's a miracle that I actually ended up with... So, what changed? Could it be this video sponsor, Output Arcade, where you can get a 30-day free trial and 50% off your first month because you watch my channel? Or could it be because I set the BPM to 126? For Color House, you need a cute, catchy chord progression. So instead of something boring like... Change the rhythm so it plays a little bit more like... But that's a little too repetitive, so play around with the inversions the second time around, so it sounds like... <laughs> Chop it up even more and add in the root of the chords. <laughs> and a lead melody on top of it. Now you've got a certified catchy piano intro. While piano by itself could be considered boring, to add some depth, it needs layers. This is the first way I use Outputs Arcade. Inside this plugin, you'll find a huge library of high quality sounds and instruments that are perfect to add polish to your song. So when you have a certified catchy piano melody like this, you can copy and paste it onto this track and select one of Arcade's many instruments. This is the one I ended up using. It's a bell. That's not the only way you can use Arcade, but I'll get to that a little later in the video. Now, to keep you guessing about my true state of emotion, despite the happy, upbeat piano, an emo guitar in the background. Harmonized, of course. Copy the root note of the piano progression and put it onto an 808. And also onto the sub. Thickened up with the spice rack. House beat! Ooh, more passion, more passion, more energy, more footwork! Speaking of more energy, some shakers too. And to top it all off, some cute vocal chops. And all together. Vocal atmosphere. Vocal chop on the offbeat. Build up loop, cause I'm lazy. Another one. Another one. And a riser. Because this is a build-up, we need to foreshadow the flow of the drop. So I picked this guitar to do that. <laughs> Harmonized, of course. For an additional bit of foreshadowing, start to sneak in the bass of the drop, once again using Arcade. This preset is awesome because it barely needs any tweaking and it fits right into the song. But if you do want to tweak it, it's just as customizable as any other synth. By opening up the tweak menu, I can go into the different layers. And here I actually adjusted the release to keep it tight. And I didn't want this analog sub, so I could just easily turn it down. 
Along with all of the different macros you can use, these are super versatile sounds that'll fit right into your song. And finally, a pre-drop vocal. So fitting it would make even Knock 2 jealous. And all together. Again, house beat. But this time we need to make the hats really cut through. So we do three different layers with three different samples. First one panned a little to the left, another one panned a little to the right, and one right in the center. Group it all together and add on a sidechain compressor to the kick and the snare so that even though these hats are thick, they don't overpower your kick and snare. Now to make Color House, what it needs are the iconic color bass chord stabs. And at first I thought I knew what I was doing. After all, I have a bunch of color bass videos on my channel, so this should be a cakewalk, right? Enjoying the stream? Really? This is enjoyable? Shoot. But as I get better at producing, my ears have leveled up and those techniques weren't quite hidden the same anymore. Something was missing and I couldn't get it right. I did everything that I thought would work. I found a nice bass impact. I used hybrid reverb in convolution mode and used a chord sample as an impulse response to blend the two sounds together. Yet it still ended up sounding like poop. With Color House and this song in particular being more chord progression focused as opposed to other color based songs staying on the same note the whole time, this presented some unique challenges. It was really hard for me to find the flow of the track when I was constantly switching back and forth from making a new sound, trying to place it in the song, going back to change the chord, make a new sound, place it back into the song, and I almost gave up hope. But me, being a Dark Souls Bloodborne Sekiro gamer, that means I don't give up when things get tough. Let's go! What I needed was a higher quality chord sample. When you use a higher fidelity sample as your impulse response, like the ones you find inside Arcade, the hybrid reverb can pull so much more from that. And blending the sounds together just sound that much more natural. That's why using Arcade was so important to the success of this sound. It really helps me find inspiration. And even if you're not music theory smart, its line system lets you pick the key that you want to write in and lets you use the white keys on your MIDI controller as a sample launch pad to insert cool melodies or hooks or chords right into your song. And using that, I'm able to map out a flow and progression for the drop using the color house stabs that I made. Oh no, these are sounding a little thin still. No worries, we go back to Arcade. Remember that bass preset I found earlier? This is so good that I call this the thickener. Poop saw in shambles right now. I'm just kidding, Poop saw, you're still welcome in here. Don't forget the sub. Take these bass notes and copy them over to a super saw. Using Chord Rack, which is a free download by the way, you can turn these bass notes into instant chords. Do the same thing on some drifty bells. And a Glock, of course. On the color based chord stabs, add an envelope follower and map it to Disperser. That'll give it a bit more extra movement. Add some reverb for space and some erosion for brightness. One last EQ to clean it all up and with all of those layers in place, the color based stabs have reached their final form.
by separating my sound design from my songwriting and help me find this awesome groove. And oh my gosh, when you find that groove, whew, it all comes together. Last thing, a few sneaky little details to add that final bit of spice. And I'm not talking about those videos where the person's like, here's a production tip that's guaranteed to level up, or I'm gonna show you this one technique that will change your life forever. And it's just like, put a ring mod on your master or something. But for real, those tips should actually be more like, add some rhythm with vocal chops. Or using sounds that you introduced in the intro as some of your fills, like the guitar here. Or just put in a goose honk. But use the same color based techniques as well. <laughs> I hate how well this worked out. This is all thanks to Arcade being a beacon of inspiration. You can see for yourself how customizable and high quality Arcade's sample library is with a free 30 day trial. And then on top of that, another 50% off your first month because you watch my video. Details are all down below. Plus by doing that, you help support my channel. Thank you to Output and Arcade for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, go make some bangers. And all together. Yeah.